Good afternoon. This is Jim Duggar on the show floor of SAP TechEd 2017 Las Vegas. We've been touring the show, checking out DevOps technologies, and I'm here at the Basis Technologies booth. And I've got James Roberts with me, the CTO of Basis Technologies. How are you doing, James? I'm very good, Jim. Having a great show so far. How are you doing? It is a great show. So let's just cut right to the chase. DevOps is a big story. What is it about DevOps and SAP that our listeners should know about? Okay, well, first of all, let, let's look at why we're talking about DevOps so much. We're in a time of massive digital disruption, uh, customer expectations are going through the roof, technology evolution is, is, is raging along like never before, uh, and we need to deliver applications much more frequently, much faster, and this is where DevOps comes in, yeah? Uh, it's true to say that SAP and DevOps have been a little bit lagging behind the times, uh, but over the last 12 months I've had a massive increase in customers coming to see me, large and small, partners, all looking to find out what do we need to do to make DevOps a reality for SAP. The key difference here and the challenge is that we operate differently in SAP. We've got a different environment, different architecture, uh, and the common tools that you might see outside SAP for DevOps, the, the likes of Chef, Puppet, those kind of things, they simply don't work in SAP because of the way the architecture works. So the developer's experience is a little bit different in SAP. H how does that affect the tooling? Well. What we have to do is think about the way developers and configurers actually operate inside SAP, yeah? Uh, we need to think about the fact that SAP is massively integrated. We need to think about the fact that we've got distributed teams, often multi-partner and SI teams. So our tools need to promote visibility. They need to pr uh, promote collaboration. Uh, and most of all, they need to uh, promote automation of the entire development life cycle from the instantiation of a change all the way through to production. And critical in SAP is, is dependency management, yeah? We promote safe, selective delivery of change when it's ready, rather than being tied to an arbitrary release cycle like a quarterly release or six monthly release. Uh, and we have to have the tooling that's going to support that and allow us to safely deliver change when it's ready, not part of a big release. So, when I look around the show, obviously SAP is centric here, it's very important to so many customers, but, but it's not the only platform that we see in the modern enterprise. All right. So, so how do customers integrate the experience of development in traditional software languages as well as SAP at the same time? Yeah, it's a really good question because SAP is not an island, yeah? We operate alongside other technologies. A lot of customers already have DevOps initiatives running in their businesses. They're typically on their customer engagement or business engagement applications, and SAP has sort of been seen as untouchable. Uh, the customers I'm working with have had great success when they've melded together their, their business teams, their dev teams, their ops teams, their QA teams, their security teams, all delivering about uh, around business outcomes. It's about business outcomes, it's about synchronizing and harmonizing all the application layers that come together to deliver a business outcome. And that way you're going to be much more successful with SAP uh, DevOps technology to, to bring it in line with other application layers. So we've got a situation now, mm. we've brought DevOps into SAP, mm. we've got customers doing both traditional software development, they're using DevOps and Agile life cycles over on the SAP side. How do you test it? Yeah. How do you pull that off? Testing's a tough one, yeah. You know, I like to say with, with great speed comes great responsibility. We're increasing the, the, the cadence of delivery, we're increasing the speed and frequency of delivery, so we have to test stuff, we have to not break production. And to do that, we regression test. The problem for a lot of companies is regression testing is just too hard, it's too manual, it requires too much labor, it's too costly, it takes too long. So they operate a risk-based approach, yeah? Let's test what we think might be, get broken with this release, rather than knowing 100% sure, and that's very risky. Um, at Basis Technologies, last week we announced a new product called uh, Testimony. This employs robotic test automation. It's a radical new approach to SAP testing. And the really unique thing with this is that it actually learns what to test and how to test by observing real customer, real user interactions with the system, all, all those system te technical interactions, and it builds a test library for you automatically. And the cool thing is, every time you deliver a change to production, we will re-record, we will re-update our library, so you'll always be testing on current business practices with current business processes. It's always fresh and up to date. It's totally changing the way our customers approach SAP testing. That's pretty impressive and a pretty impressive claim. Yeah. So, if a customer were to take this journey, 
What would the business get out of adopting DevOps? What would the organization gain from doing all of these things we've been yeah, talking about? Yeah. DevOps brings loads of great things. You expect to have cost savings, you expect to be improving efficiency, but DevOps is about delivery speed. It's about uh, improving the speed to market, the, the speed to business. It's about improving quality along the way. It's taking away that delivery risk. It's about improving security of software. We can't underestimate this in a world of cyber threat. And it's also about not, not forgetting the most important asset our companies and customers have, and that is the, the, the people, the staff. People work better, they communicate better, they're not firefighting, they're just generally happier. DevOps for SAP is no longer a buzzword, it's just a better way of delivering applications. Well, that's a great time. Thanks for so much for your time, and uh, looking forward to spending a little more time here in the Basis Technologies booth. Indeed, thank you, Jim. This is Jim Dogger at SAP TechEd 2017 Las Vegas. Come check us out, we're at booth 600, and looking forward to seeing everyone on the show floor. Good afternoon. <laughs>